Hey guys, so first I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Bronzer and Snow Bunny on the sides of our forehead and on our temples. And this is just going to be creating a bronzy base for the cheetah spots we're applying later. Here I'm using a glue stick to glue down my eyebrows and this is just going to help flatten them so I could put foundation over them to cancel them out so I can draw them a different shape. Instead of drawing my brows curved like I normally do with an arch, I'm going to draw them straight out to create more of a flick just to give that more of a cat eye effect. This is my incredibly annoyed face because my camera was not even recording when I did my glitter brows. But all I used was Ardell Individual Lash Adhesive and Sephora Glitter in Gold. I'm creating a super harsh contour line and connecting it to the bottom of my nose and just to give the illusion that we have super round cheeks, but I am only blending up just to keep that bottom line as sharp as possible. in with a white cream shadow from Maybelline and I'm putting that all over our cheeks just to make them pop more and to highlight them and I'm going over it with Max Mineralize Skin Finish and Light Scapade just to give it more of a highlight and to set that cream shadow. I'm doing a sharp contour on my nose with a brown cream shadow and I'm just going to blend it out a little bit but I really want a harsh line for my contour. Now onto the eyes, I'm priming them with Clinique's Lid Smooth Eye Primer. For my base color, I'm just using a super white eyeshadow with this Urban Decay brush. I'm using a Maybelline's liner pen and putting that all in my crease just to give it a cut crease look and I'm winging it out like a cat eye effect and don't worry about it if it's not perfect right now because we will be cleaning it up and blending it out. I'm also creating a wing on the bottom but make sure when you're doing this you are leaving room between the bottom liner and the bottom lash line because we will be putting shadow in that later. Also you're going to be extending that line in the inner tear duct on the side of your nose. I'm taking a black shadow and blending out the black liner in the crease, but make sure you're only blending up because we want to have the bottom line as sharp as we can just to create that cut crease kind of look. To create the cheetah print, all you really have to do is draw two squiggly seeds facing each other, and you'll want to alternate between that and some solid spots as well. All I'm doing here is shading inside of the cheetah spots just to give it more dimension and I'm alternating between black shadow and the same snow bunny bronzer that we used earlier. Now on to lashes. I found these at a drugstore in the Halloween section and these were so hard to put on that's why I didn't really include a clip of them. For lips I'm just lining my lips with an eyeliner pencil by Jordana and I'm filling them in. I'm also over drying them quite a bit. And then I'm just going to be filling in the bottom part of my nose. I didn't have ears, so for my hair, I'm creating two space buns. And I'm sorry that my camera kind of cut out in the end, but I'm sure you guys know how to do space buns. And this is the final look of my twist on a cat look. And I hope you guys have a fun and a safe Halloween.